Hi, I'm Kaylee Lochran. I'm an archaeologist for the New York District, and in this video, I'm going to briefly go over how to navigate this story map. This is the main page, or our hub as we call it, for the New York, New Jersey Harbor and Tributaries Study, or HATS for short. On this hub, we created sections that cover various topics discussed in our draft report. But the first thing you'll see is an interactive map with a search tool. You might be interested in how this project affects you. You can use the map to search an address and then zoom to that location to see what alternatives and features might be nearby. Here I'm searching the address for our New York District office right here in Manhattan. You can think of a story map as digital storytelling. It is designed to be visually appealing, engaging, and interactive. In this case, we are using the story map to display the same information outlined in our draft report. But instead of reading through several pages of text, we condensed it into easy to understand web pages with lots of images and maps that you can browse through. So how does it work? Well, it's really simple. When you click on a link, it will automatically generate a new browser window. This is one of the sections we developed and it covers key information taken from the engineering section of the draft report. We also included images that you can click through. The maps might take a little while to load, but once they show up, you can zoom in, pan around to different sections on the map, and some of them even include a slider feature that you can use to move back and forth between two maps. Once you're done here, you can either close out the section or keep it open and navigate back to the hub. You can do that for any of the sections here. If you're new to HATS or you don't know much about the project yet, we recommend you start with the real estate story map, which explains our project study area, or the project features by alternative story map, which includes a dashboard showing the locations of each alternative. Below this, we have our non-federal sponsors and partners. You can click any of the logos to be taken to their corresponding website in a new browser window. Next is our Resources and Tools Gallery. We created additional interactive maps that you can access by clicking the Explore button. These will open in the same window as the Hub. Once you're done here, you can navigate back to the Hub by clicking the Back button. It'll open up at the top of the page. Now, the last thing I want to show you is at the very bottom. We listed our HATS study email. You can feel free to email us any questions or comments you may have about the Story Map Hub or any of the individual sections. Thank you for watching this video and please enjoy our HATS Story Map.